I have my first cup of hot chai since June. Why'd you wait so long? Because it's been 147 degrees Celsius here. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction scene. It's um Corbon. I'm drinking chai. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter. That's it. Uh, <laughs> it's juicy. Yeah, because I've been drinking iced coffees because it's been so hot. Today's like, it feels like fall today. Oh, well, yeah, because we got like 100 mile an hour winds here today. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, today we mm. are, after we're done with this one, halfway through the second season of Ms. Bar. What? Um, so uh, this one is called uh, Lang, Lang, Langda. Langda, which I looked that up. If the internet is to believe, be believed, and obviously a lot of times it can't be be to believed, um, it means lame. I think it can be believed because wasn't it Abraham Lincoln who said you can believe everything you read on the internet? It's true, and I don't know if lame means like that's a lame person or like the literal definition of a, a lame person. Right, like a lame person. Maybe it means both. Maybe it's the double entendre, pal. Maybe, uh, but. Anyways, uh, just as always, if you'd like to see uh, this, is, Amazon allows us to use only five minutes of their each episode on YouTube. Yep. Cut up. Yep. Uh, yep. Copyright stuff. It's theirs. Obviously, they can dictate whatever they want. Um, but <laughs> only Penis five potato. minutes. If dictate. you if you would like to see the full uncut, unedited versions of our reactions, the hour long usual. Uh, reactions those are over on patreon i've linked to it in the description below and i believe in the pin the pinned comment um so let's just get into it i'm excited oh you got to puppy there are you excited lance are you excited lance yeah. oh oh it's so exciting okay that's gross all right three two one wait oh wait okay. hold on what Okay, count me down now. Ready. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's see, but get the end. Pill talk the team. I really like this actor. But I do too. Tell you. Oh, great score so far. Really? Of the shows we've watched, definitely the best intro for sure. Yep. One of my favorite intros. It gets me hyped like the Game of Thrones intro always got me hyped. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what has Muna done again? Baithak mein bhi hamare decision tha aur ye bhi. Baithak mein tum sirf goli chalaye the. Decision hamara tha. <laughs> Dang. Mm -hmm. What is she doing? 
Told you she I was going to be part of the whole thing to bring him down. Why are we feeling McBull's gonna turn on the Tripathies? That's why I said earlier in like the last episode of the one before, does he know his guy is spying? Maybe we missed something. Maybe he does. I don't know. You don't stand a chance when you're up against a guy of McBull's yeah. size. Oh. Right? Oh. <laughs> One of you has a bigger gun. Oh, I told you they're going to bump some nasties, Rick. I told you. Oh, it's VJ. It's VJ. Ah. Nice butt, Muna. Quality ass. <laughs> That's what they call the Muna Moon. <laughs> nice. <laughs> really, this is really interesting. Yeah, it is. He made everything smaller so it like seems like normal. Yeah, yeah. it's all scaled to him. <laughs> Dang. Oh, nice. Quite the entrance for that, gentlemen. Right? Are they twins? That's both VJ, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. He loves eggs. Overtime production chal raha hai. Much better. So, they're going back to Mizapur. Yes. And it seems like everyone is being dishonest. <laughs> because well, the his wife is obviously in cahoots with Gouda uh, and and her. In some way, he she they're not telling us what she's telling them, but apparently she got everybody to leave the house. Right. I'm assuming so they. That... So, so that they they can they're on the way there to I guess to be there when Tripathi and Muna return. I just don't think it's that simple. It can't be that. It simple. is when you've got his wife setting it up. Yeah. She and then also McBull. He says he has taken care of, but we have we didn't see him kill him. And he just said yes. Yeah. Like, so he's yeah, like... Yeah, I don't know what that I, means, right. I feel like he's kind of like in cahoots with the Gouda camp, almost. I have felt that for but he, But he's also extreme. He's always been extremely loyal to Tripathi. 
Yeah, but like most gangster stories, lo- loyalties lay with who you think is going to be strongest and stay strongest. So whoever's it's pack mentality. If you think the leader is now weak, you join the others to attack that leader and you betray that leader because they're weak now. Yeah. Interesting. He may think he may think that that house is weak because Muna is the heir apparent. And McBool may think my allegiance ends here. I am not a, I am not aligned with Muna. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that might be it. He doesn't. Yeah, he's yeah, because that's that's he, the future. Yeah, he's he's loyal to Tripathy, but he doesn't like Moon. He thinks Moon is a moron. Right, and Tripathy keeps talking about how he's going to hand the reins over. So it's like, well, if you're going to hand the reins over to this kid, I won't be working for that kid. Honestly, he should hand the reins over to McBool. McBool seems like the one that should be running stuff. Yeah, but it's the whole family. Yeah, it's the whole family thing, and the whole just. You know, may you be blessed with a boy. Because if you have a girl, you're going to be cursed. And they were, I, I think they were trying to set it up to where they were like, okay, Muna, now you have to marry her to form an alliance. Is that what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's was what, great. That's what it felt like. Um, and then <laughs> also, we, I liked the introduction of, um, uh, I forget his name, uh, Tiganji or something like that. Um, Tiagi. Tiagi, uh, which sounds familiar to me. How do we know another Tiagi somewhere, right? We do. Um, a Tiagi um, character is from. Can't remember. Anyways, I can't but, remember. yeah, I like yeah, the introduction of the the dad. It's a very interesting character. Um, and <laughs> he's a he's a uh, I don't know the correct term. A, a little person, um, but. He <laughs> he set his whole thing up to where everything is to his scale, and so everybody else feels weird in it, and he feels normal, which mm-hmm. is genius. Uh, writing makes it really interesting, but obviously he's a pretty intense guy. A guy came in to talk business, and he just killed him. Um, and VJ is apparently has a twin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which I didn't. So which I don't know which we've which one we've seen so far which one is which I don't know, right? I don't. I like that though. This was actually one of the more slower episodes though. I didn't feel bored, but it was definitely not a at much all. Yeah, for, slower episode. Yeah, for the lack of action and killing and stuff like that, it doesn't bother me one bit because I've become so wrapped up in the story and the characters now that that's just gravy on top of this really beautiful feast that we're having with the story and these characters yeah and obviously if the acting's great you're it's it's not going to be a problem because every there's not one i've never seen a bad actor in this show no it's very well cast in the same way that like every role you ever saw in breaking bad um even the smallest of the small roles the casting in breaking bad is one of the best things about that nearly perfect show is just the casting's always so good yeah so they're going to Mizapur, so I'm guessing things are going to start. I mean, we got what? Uh, was five, five episodes, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, five episodes left. To yeah, end, I, they're they're going going back there to to either I think, end the series, to cut the head off the top of the snake. Yeah, either end the series or continue i don't know if they're planning on having a third season obviously i guess we'll figure out towards the end um when we get there but i don't know i'm liking it i like it i like it a lot and i i feel sad i feel i feel sad for people that don't like like if they're expecting every single episode to be action 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 when like and you can't enjoy these type of episodes where it, it it was basically just we learned actually quite a bit about a bunch of different characters uh, that we didn't know about the Tiagis, um, and then obviously they introduced that whole family, um, and then they furthered some other storylines. I don't who is that girl that Gudu went out with? I'm still confused by the, who she is. The widow. Widow of what? The widow from the red wedding. Oh, they they killed the husband. That that night, that's her. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, I couldn't figure out who exactly yeah. she was. Why does? 
Why does and her uh, dad? I forgot the character's name, but he's that beautiful actor, the man with the really epic the long, long hair. white beard and the striking eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who she is now. Yeah. I just couldn't I yeah. couldn't I couldn't place her. But yeah, that was great. Um so uh I guess uh we're we're done here. At least this episode. <laughs> Only five more to go. If you'd like to see the full uncut, unedited versions, as always, head over to Patreon. Uh, got a whole bunch of new Patreon babies. Thank you so much to all of all of you for your support. Thank you. Um, but truly, uh, on to the next episode. <laughs>